During this heart month, we have a heartwarming story of heroic efforts by local law enforcement that reinforces the importance of AEDs and knowing how to administer CPR. Yeah, two North Carolina Highway Patrol troopers were at the right place at the right time, and it's their swift actions that kept a 78-year-old man alive. I'd say it's probably God's will. I mean, we were definitely put in the right place at the right time for sure. It was on February 3rd that North Carolina Highway Patrol troopers Caleb Kirby and John Eberly became heroes. To be able to be in that right place, right time before anybody else was, be able to make a difference, it's always a good feeling. The two noticed a stalled truck on I-40 near NC-87 in Alamance County, and after taking a closer look, realized it was the aftermath of a single vehicle crash. I arrived on scene first, and when I arrived on scene, um, noticed the elderly male apparently passed out behind the wheel um, that appeared to be somewhat of a medical condition. A 78 year old man was unresponsive behind the wheel of the car and the two troopers quickly realized he was suffering from some kind of medical episode. My first initial thought was to get inside the car to try to get to him, but obviously the wind doors were locked. He's up against the median wall. It's hard for us to get on that side, so we end up having to go through a window, bust out a window on the uh, passenger side. And we were able to unlock the back door. I was able to crawl in the back, unbuckle them. Trooper Everlay was able to get in the front and we were able to pull them out. So yeah, that was basically the first thing was just to get them out of the car. Broke out the window, climbed in and started chest compressions and CPR. The Graham Fire Department also responding began setting up an AED as the chest compressions continued. The adrenaline the in the moment really just takes over. You don't really think about it. The interstate's a dangerous place. We always talk about the move over law so that way we're able to actually do our job and you don't really think about that on normal traffic stop. Yeah, like, hey, these cars are going by really fast, but in the moment, hey, this is more important than worrying about what others what else is going on. And because of the swift actions taken by troopers Eberly and Kirby, 78 year old Victor Pate survived and is expected to make a full recovery. Yeah, he was very appreciative. Uh, his family sounded pretty appreciative. So like I say, it's always, it's just a good feeling to be able to make a difference. Every second counts in those situations, and there are around 1,600 North Carolina Highway Patrol troopers. Each one of their cars is equipped with an AED, and the troopers undergo CPR training every two years, and this event just stresses the importance of the training these troopers do go through.